Hello everyone, and welcome to a Volts tutorial. Um, since we're going to be starting up the series soon, we already have some of it recorded, I figured I would um, put out some tutorials for people who didn't know what they're doing in the game, because I'm presuming a lot of you have been starting to play it up now. So, um, I guess we'll get started real quick. Um, most people in Volts tend to use the battery box, which, in case you don't know what it looks like, it's this thing. And it can use to store batteries and whatnot. But the only problem with it is it really doesn't do that great of a job. At its job. <laughs> For lack of a better term. So, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the energy cubes. Which, they store their power. I'll explain it in a second. They're basically a, t a lot better. <laughs> For lack of better terms. <coughs> Um, for example, the energy cube retains charge that it holds. It has its own bank of charge that it can hold. And although it's definitely more expensive to make, it's certainly worth the investment. So, as you can see here, the basic energy cube is made from four enriched alloys, two energy tablets, and a steel block, and two lapis lazuli in this formation. So, uh, I'll just take this out. And, oh, not put my stuff away. I need my stuff. <laughs> oh, and... Sorry about that. So we're going to take these materials, and we're going to line them up as so. And there we go. We have a basic energy cube. Now, you may be wondering how you build these other materials. Well, that's what I have the rest of these stations. Well, that, that was... What just happened? Okay. Give me uh, one second here. Did I hit something on the GUI? Okay. So how to make an enriched alloy? Pretty simple, actually. You just take a piece of iron and surround it with redstone. Well, not surround it, but um, you make this sort of plus formation, which this mod loves. And there you go. You have an enriched alloy. And I threw it on the ground. Um, the energy tablet's also a little bit more difficult to make, but at the same time, it's not that expensive. You need three pieces of gold, four pieces of redstone, and two enriched alloys. And there you go, you get an energy tablet, and I keep opening that up, I don't know why. <sighs> Anyways, that's your energy tablet. Now, that's all you need to make your basic energy cube. However, of course, when I put it down... What good does it do me if I don't have anything charging it? So, if you guys at home who probably, um, are, um, if you're making a basic energy cube, you're probably not too far into the game. So henceforth, I'm going to show you some of the, um, probably the first generator you're going to come across, the coal generator, which is made in either this or this formation. Um, it's a furnace in the middle, motor below that, and either surrounded by steel or bronze. So, I'm just going to make the steel version real quick so you know that it works. And then I'm not just like, hey, you're stupid. Well, I can make them believe anything I say. No. Um, so, let's do this real quick. If I could actually click on stuff, that would be pretty snazzy. And there we go. The coal generator. So, next up on the list, we have uh, insulated wire because that's part of the motor recipe, which I'll show you next. So insulated copper wire is three pieces of copper surrounded by either wool or leather. Either works. So I'm going to do some wool. I'm not going to do both recipes because there's no point. To you. You'll get the idea from one. It's a very simple recipe. You can do it uninsulated and then insulate it yourself, but it's much easier to do it all at once. So there you go. There you have some insulated wire. From here you can use this wire to build the motor, which is four pieces of wire surrounded by four and then it's a piece of iron surrounded by four pieces of steel in a cross formation and the wire filling in the other slots. Let's take that. And then... All you do is you put it in this formation. And there you go, you have a motor. Pretty simple, and that's all the components you need. Um, the rest of it's pretty easy. So, actually, what I should mention is how to make steel. Um, because you're probably like, what is steel? I don't know how to make steel. 
I also can't spell steel. <laughs> so how do I make these steel ingots? Well, in order to make these steel ingots, you have to make steel dust, which I will show you how to make. It's pretty easy, actually. So all you're going to do is you're going to need some iron. Should have set this up ahead of time, but I didn't. So we're just going to do this now. So all you need is some iron like that. And then the second component you need is some coal. So we're going to spawn in a nice collection of coal. And all you do is you head over to one of these crafting benches. And... Okay, there we go. That was weird. Put your coal in the center. You take your... No, no, your iron in the center. And then you put your coal in a formation like such. And it gives you steel dust. That's all you need to do. Very simple. Not that hard to do. Um, but necessary for many of the recipes. Um, in order to get the finished product, all you need to do is put it in a furnace. So, all you do, bam, the usuals. And when we come back, there will be eight steel and one of these remaining. In case you want me to make, <laughs> in case you want proof, here you go. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It'll come and boom, there you go, steel. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is some of the basic machines you can power. I'm going to show you two today, the um, enrichment chamber and the electric furnace. So the enrichment chamber is going to come first, and it's very crucial. <laughs> uh, this is my fault. It's very crucial, though, to um, making resources. So, well, not making, yeah, I guess making resources. So what the enrichment chamber does <laughs> is very critical in um, vaults. What it does is it allows you to basically any resource, not any resource, any um, what's the word? <laughs> any ores or, yeah, just ores I think. Any ores you put into the enrichment chamber are instantly well, not instantly, but um, after putting energy through the enrichment chamber and putting ores through it, it doubles the amount of um, resources you get it through making it into dust in a similar way to tech it and the macerator. So it's very useful. And each dust yields you one bar and so forth. So in order to build that, you also need control circuits, which is something I haven't shown you how to make yet. Very simple though. Enriched alloy in the center and four platinum ingots on the side. In that cross formation that they so dearly love. And there you go, you get a control circuit. Not that difficult. So the last machine I'm going to show you how to make is a electric furnace, which is nine pieces of steel, surrounding a basic circuit and a motor. I don't really know why a motor, but I'm not questioning the volts gods today. <laughs> and there you go, an electric furnace. Um, in order to build the basic circuit, what you need, take four pieces of redstone in the cross formation, put a bronze plate in the middle, and take four pieces of wire around the side. So there we go, we're going to place those, as such, and there we go, we have a basic circuit. In order to build the bronze plate, really simple, you take four pieces of bronze, bam, that's all you need to do, and in case you're wondering how to make bronze, it's pretty easy as well. Um, this, you can do this, which is using a metallurgy confuser, but if you don't know how to do that, it's... um. All it is, you need a piece of copper, and some tin, some tin ingots, there we go, and all you do is you make them into this formation, nope, not that, oh wait, it's the other way around, I apologize, there you go, and you make some bronze dust. And you cook, that, you cook that up in a similar fashion to the um, steel that I've been showing you. So that's all you do. I don't know. I, what? <laughs> Whatever. But that's all you do. And uh, you cook it up in a similar fashion. So now I'm going to show you how to use all these machines. Because you're probably like, yeah, great. You showed me all this crap. But now I have no idea what I'm doing. Or you're like, uh, I don't know why I'm even here. I don't need you. So first things first, you're going to plunk down your coal generator. Now... When you go to export the energy out of the coal generator, always put it out this black box. So that's your export, not your export, your output <laughs> slot for everything you do. Your basic energy cube, plunk down anywhere you like. Um, depending on what you're facing, that's where this black face will face. 
that's the output slot. Any of the greens are inputs, so you can have multiple generators funneling into the one single energy cube, and then have it have one output. So that's important to know. It can store up to a uh, thousand kilojoules, which in this game, eh, with coal generators, is a bit. So we're gonna set up the two basic, the two basic machines we also made. Not the battery box, where's the furnace? There. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So we're going to set up our furnace here, and our enrichment chamber here. Every machine has these... Uh, actually, I don't know. The enrichment chamber, I believe, you can just set it up anywhere. Electric furnace, really simple. Just plug it in. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to plug it in like that. And same thing with the enrichment chamber. Uh, the electric furnace and the enrichment chamber, they always have... Their input slots tend to be on the back uh, for most machines. So, in order to generate with the coal generator, you're going to put some coal in, and it's going to start to generate whole heat at first. So until it reaches 100% whole heat, it won't actually generate any power. But see, now that it's generating whole heat, it'll begin generating power for the system. Our basic energy cube is going to start charging a power. So, our electric furnace, well, I guess I'm going to take some of that bronze dust we made, I'm going to show you how this thing works. It's really very easy. All you do is, in order to smelt stuff, you put it in the smelting slot, and it'll immediately start smelting. Now, in order to... <laughs> now, for the enrichment um, machine, it's also pretty simple. You put your ores in here, though. You do not put any bars. You put ores in here, and as long as it has power, it'll make that really obnoxious noise you are hearing right now and it will begin making these ores into to dust which can furthermore be smelted down inside the electric furnace as such and we're going to see that right now and there you go you get a tin, tin ingot and you can get two for each piece of ore by using the enrichment chamber so yeah that's all i have for um this time around i was kind of hoping i had to use my obsidian sword but i never did or the crowbar. Put the shit out of people with the crowbar. <sighs> oh shit. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I'll see you around next time on the first episode or second episode of Volts. Until then. Toodaloo.